Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to show you step by step process how we can use Flit's customer account page. So first thing first, what I'm going to do, I will click add application. Now I'll just wait until it's going to load. Then I'm going to click here install app. And I will wait for a while. Maybe a little bit more until it loads. Then I guess we'll uh, choose a plan. And yep. Okay. So first thing first, what I'm going to do, I will click a plan like the basic one, or you can choose the sell the business up to you and start the free trial on the right side. Okay. And then business every thirty days, thirty days free trial. Trial ends July thirty. Okay. Start free trial. And here we go. So get started. First thing first, what we need to do is customer account page setup. And um, we will go by get started and then I will show you everything else. Okay. So first thing first, set up here. And now my theme. And now preview is displaying all sections with all plans and add-ons. And you see like, okay, this is the customer what they're seeing. And we can have duo template or uno template. It's up to which one you choose. Click next. And then you can simply change the colors, the content of the colors, the buttons. I'm going to leave it like it is or you can choose like uh, Like this one here, completely up to you. And then apply to theme. So right now, uh, this would be the customer account page setup. And how would it actually look like? So what you can do and when you have it, we will go to dashboard and in dashboard, you would see all the data, all the analytics from the total customers, subscribers, credits and use credits then we would have the customers here where you would find all your customers settings and then a link store page store credit settings customer account page setup is as you can see we got the live theme here so that but we can have integrations and billing now, when I go here to the next to the support on the top right, we're going to click again, get started. And we have the customer account page set up. Then we're going to enable customer accounts. And now customer accounts are required, are optional. So that's something that you can do. Then manage app settings. We can update here. Here you can enable this restore credit feature. Here you can enable disable recently viewed product. And now you see right here, you need to uh, like purchase the store credit add-on. And then you're going to select the social media here. And you can enable also reorder the products. And this is a really great way how you can work with customers and you would sell more products. So that's really good so the next thing to next to the faq is support and i'll again get started and link stored page you can update here and again you can add multiple pages so this is pretty much it how it works and yep so you can click actions Set up color template or color scheme. You see how it looks on mobile. And we would see like, okay, what is the delivery address? And then people would choose that, your orders. And it's really great because the person knows what is it about. They can just like, they don't need to go to email. They will have all the information on uh, your website. Also the wish list, but only have to get the fleets when you're going to have a lot of products only in that regard it's going to be much more effective i really believe in that 
So I wouldn't have like, let's say if I'm going to a few products on my store, I wouldn't possibly use a fleet because it's not useful. But let's say I would have thousands of products in that regard. And the, like, let's say the one customer is buying multiple products every time they are actually on my website. Like it's much more worth it to use fleets. I believe in that. So this is pretty much it, how we can use it. Uh, you can again change the simple colors here, which is pretty great. And I would have the colors based on what kind of colors you have on your website and on save. And again, you get the templates here and it's up to which one you like more. Like I like the, you know, more. And as you can see, you got profile, delivery address, my orders, top order products, recently viewed credits that someone that you can use. Then you have also like billing and integrations on the left side. So, yes. And then you got like settings here from app settings. You can enable and disable things, store credit. This is what we were doing, a link store page. You can simply link store, store page here and wishlist settings. So yeah, if you can have any questions, guys, ask me down in the comments. I'm really happy to help you and provide you some guidance and support. You know how it goes, you know how it is. Uh, there are plenty of good apps. And Yep. So that's pretty much it. Thank you and have a great day and goodbye. See ya.